Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Michael. The Lord has spoken with me. Uh, the Lord spoke with me this past night in a very, very profound way. And uh, I would like your listeners and those who are viewing your live streaming to know that the Lord spoke with me this past night about a very significant moment that is coming to befall the face of the earth. And uh, in that conversation, the Lord put me in that future date. He took me to that future date. And I saw the distress of the moment in the future date. There is a severe distress that is coming to the earth. And in that mighty, mighty vision of the Lord, he showed me the events to unfold, a season, a spell that will visit this earth. And I found myself trying to preach the gospel, but nobody could allow you preach the gospel, could allow anybody preach the gospel or worship Jesus at that time. Again, the Lord has taken me into the future date, and I've seen a tremendous time of desolation, a time of the abomination, because I saw them forcing people to worship a certain God other than Jehovah. And the Lord put me in there, and I saw the distress that was entailed. It encompassed a severe direct distress of the moment in which people were being forced to worship only a certain God, one God, and not Jesus. Well, it was difficult. The Lord presented that three times, and people were being forced to say the name of a certain God, and it was very difficult for those who had missed to go into the rapture of the church. Well, the Bible speaks very clearly about the coming of the Messiah, and in the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter 2, if you go on from verses 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 7, it speaks very clearly about the fact that he that holds the Antichrist back, he who is the Holy Spirit that is currently holding him back, when he will be taken out of the way, then the Antichrist will be revealed, essentially unveiled to the nation. But if you check very carefully, you find that the church, the Holy Church today is the holy habitation of the Holy Spirit. And so if the rapture takes place and the habitation is taken, taken away, then that also will mark the end of the dispensation of the Holy Spirit of grace. And hence, such upheaval in worship will take place. And I think the Lord has persistently and consistently in the past two weeks spoken about one and the same thing, that time is over and the church now needs to be more righteous and more holy. The church needs to stop clamoring for pursuit of the lifestyle of the world, the decayed lifestyle of sin, immorality, the lifestyle of sexual lust and sexual sin, lies. And this is a clarion call also to the pulpit in the church that we don't have much time to prepare the church. So the church, all the way from Finland, Sweden, all the way down through Europe, into Australia and New Zealand, and all the way from the ends of South Korea through China, into the ends of the United States, the West Coast, all the way from Canada, the toppest peaks of Canada, down through Alaska, all the way to the tip of Chile and Argentina, the church in the islands, the Lord is announcing the coming of the Messiah. And he's saying, do not ask many questions now. Simply prepare, because the events that follow after the church is snatched away, kidnapped by the Lord, taken into heaven, those events are unbearable. Because I cannot imagine an earth without worshipping Jesus, the earth without the Lord. But that is essentially what the Lord has shown me, that 
at that time, people would be forced to worship the God of the Antichrist. And we know that that's the devil. And that means, for now, when the light is still here, the Lord is impressing upon the church. But let us use this time very profitably and let us be very economical with this time and make sure we invest every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year, if the Lord tarries to come, in preparing for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The benchmarks, the standards of the coming of the Lord are in the Bible, righteousness, holiness, mature bride, a bride without defect, without wrinkle, a bride without stain. And again, this past night, the Lord has followed up the conversation of the release of the Antichrist by revealing to me now what that dispensation of the Antichrist will look like. I was in that dispensation. They were trying to force me to worship their God. And that God is the God of the Antichrist, that's the devil. You can only worship either the Lord or the devil. And so that will be a very difficult time when people will not be allowed to worship Jesus. The Messiah is coming. This is him about whom it is written that I'll send my messenger ahead of you before you are day on that day. Shalom. Thank you.